All right, so where are we going? Well, did you already tell them the idea? All right, so my idea is I, I have a drink specifically that I like. And it's, uh, it's actually from the area, and so in Texas, Real Ale. And so it's, it's a beer company. But what they do on their bottle cap, you know, like, I don't even know, Old Snapple and things like that, they'll put things on the, the bottle cap. They actually put cities of Texas. And so my idea is, why not put it up to chance? I'm gonna pop this bottle real quick, and I'm gonna see where we might end up going. So let me know. Let's see. <laughs> see what area we get. Hey, that's not bad. Dripping Springs. Welcome to today's video. As y'all saw in that last little clip, we are here in Dripping Springs for the weekend and we're just gonna hang out around town. We've kind of looked up a couple things to do. We don't have a whole lot of time, but we're gonna try and squeeze in a few things and hopefully give y'all some ideas if you come to Dripping Springs, Texas. Here we go. Yep. Mm. place called Skull and Cake Bones in Dripping Springs and I've been wanting to come here for a while. They originated in Austin then they opened a shop here. It's like right outside of Austin. It's almost in Austin. I think it's so close to it. It's a little bakery and a cafe and they're supposed to have a lot of like really cool specialty items but it's supposed to be really really good and I'm curious to see what they have for their brunch menu. So let's go. Are you hungry? I can be. Oh I'm hungry. I can it's be hungry. There, well, we're actually waiting in the car because we got here early, so we're waiting. They open in two minutes. Yeah. Maybe we should go try and open the door be should those we? people. Let's go break it down. <laughs> go pull on the door and then stare in the window. Like... started as a wholesale bakery. So our first account was Whole Foods. That was kind of a joy ride. It was a big learning curve, but I mean, if you're gonna do it, you might as well just go all in, right? Yeah. It's a little scary and overwhelming, but also super exciting. We've been doing wholesale for five and a half years, and we opened the brick and mortar in Dripping Springs about a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. It was always our like goal to have a storefront because for wholesale you can only do so much because you're doing such large batch baking mm -hmm. and everything. We always wanted to have a space that we could do small batch stuff and more mm -hmm. artisan stuff and craft stuff. And so that's what the retail storefront allows us yeah. to do. Well, I saw that y'all do breads, like yeah. just big breads and yeah. stuff. Which I'd say most of our audience is not vegan. That's so okay. anytime we mention right. like <laughs> vegan stuff, they're like, well, how do you make cinnamon rolls? made with milk and eggs and butter. You guys have something that's biscuits and gravy and sausage. You'll have stuff that's bacon. What do y'all use in place of those products? You know, if you're looking at a recipe and you want to make it without eggs, you can easily substitute milk for plant-based milk. And sometimes you can just leave the eggs out. Or you can substitute it for oil or something like that instead. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about the storefront that is the best. It allows us to challenge ourselves mm -hmm. to figure out how to make stuff like croissants, cinnamon rolls, and the sausage mm -hmm. rolls, and stuff like that. We always say we're not trying to attract vegans here because vegans will eat it if there's no animals in it. Right. You know what yeah. I, mean? I want to attract people who are just trying to like 
dip their toe into the plant-based thing, you know. Mm -hmm. They're meat eaters and I want them to feel safe trying something new and I want it to taste familiar. When we were developing our um, bacon, which is like our plant-based bacon. <laughs> It took a really, really long time because we're trying to get the flavor so that it wasn't just salty. You want to try to get as much of a, like if I could remember what bacon tastes like, this is close enough. I always really liked crispy bacon, so we didn't want to do it tempeh or seitan or something like that because then it would always be soft because we wanted to put it in a crispy FLT because yeah. I grew up eating BLTs with my mom. So we work really hard to try to make things taste like what people expect when they eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you try to introduce that bacon right in FLT every single day for about a month. I can't walk by the container without eating some. Right. That's, just just for quality. Quality. That's all it is, just for science. Super <laughs> stickler for quality control. So y'all are both vegan? Yes. Yeah. For how long? On and off for, for 16 years. Well, because it started when my daughter was born. Okay. I've been on and off for as long as we've been in a relationship, which is going on nine years. Dang. That's a long time. <laughs> See, we're only on three. We're, we're, going, we're going on three. On three. <laughs> Pretty much ever since that first ACL, right? Second yeah. weekend of ACL. I Earthlings, and I was uh, like, okay, I think vegan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that yeah. was it. Yeah. Just by the way, I do yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't it cool how strong you can still be even though you don't eat meat? Yes. Amazing, yeah. I've, right? I've never, that's what we try to show people on the channel, and that's why I really wanted to come here, is because you guys have food, like you said, it mimics mm -hmm. the food that non-vegans eat. It has the same taste, flavor, texture, and there's none of the cooking. We don't use any artificial ingredients at all. No chemicals, no artificial colors. We make our own food dye. Yeah, we just use plants. Yeah. While it mimics, it's still clean. I didn't even realize that. Knowing that it's even better for you. That it's not just cruelty free, but also like mindful eating. Because mm -hmm. it seems strange to me to take it as far as being mindful of animals, but not mindful of what you put in your body. Mm -hmm. It started in the very beginning because of Ruby, Sasha's daughter, she was born out of the dairy. Why would you take this pristine beautiful child and put red dye 40 or hydrogenated oil into this like body that's never had that before? Yeah, like, you wouldn't know that it's actually pretty good for you. And that's why our tagline is shh, the vegan. Yeah. But now vegan's becoming so mainstream that it's kind of flipped a little bit that mm -hmm. people want to see the word vegan. It's pretty amazing that people are starting to kind of get why vegan is a thing and should be a thing. I do have one question. So again, this is the first stop in this series. But where should we go next as far as like in dripping? What are some things to do? Dripping, there's a lot of hiking. Uh, Have you guys done the brewery tours? Gone down Fitzhugh. The Treaty Oak is gorgeous. Jester King is gorgeous. I love Jester King. If you go down Fitzhugh Road, it's called the Fitzhugh District, and then there's a Texas Olive Oil Company. Really? They actually, like harvest their own olives and make olive oil. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like it's a whole thing. Yeah. There's a lot of touristy type things to do in dripping. It's just not super obvious on the highway. Right. <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna be back here, might we'll as well. Here. I mean, we need coffee. <laughs> Come on. Thank you for coming. Sure. Thank you. 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 What are you doing? Da, da, da.
probably ran it through a pole and then cast concrete, concrete around this and then stained it all. And they're letting this rust just to match the, the color. Hmm. That's neat. And if they can make it into a lamppost or something, I'm guessing that's what it is. Cool. I would love a wind chime like this. A strong baritone echoes through the church. Thought this would help you, but it just made things worse. Hot dog and a Pepsi, four dollars in change. You chew through it so swiftly that you don't taste a thing. What is warm can be again You're just like a fire Blown out by the wind And what is warm can be again You're a hope book of matches Only one has been spent So baby wipe the still sad look off your face Before your dreams start boarding that train I know your pride has a miserable taste But you best get to swallowing We talk about Justin We talk about pain And then we buy greeting cards And we don't know what to say And time is a soldier just marches on We've got to look toward the future Because the past is all gone Well, that was a neat little place. Yes. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Yeah. I didn't... I mean, it's free. You just walk around and look at, like, all the sculptures. They've got plants and a little nursery. And then inside they have a bunch of local local artist stuff. Um, really, really cool little stop. If y'all have some time to kill, about 30 minutes, and get some stuff, and now we are heading to a meeting for Matt. And what is warm can be again You're just like a fire Blown out by the wind And what is warm can be again. I thought you were gonna say more than that. <laughs> Oh no. That's so dark and backlit. Oh, no. There's no point in okay, doing wait, this. Okay, we don't the trees outside. It's just backlit like crazy. What's wrong with you? It's a bad angle. We're coming for your donuts? Oh, no, I think I just straight broke it. <laughs> Sugar rolls! Don't yell things. Give me your rolls! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch the lemons. <laughs> It's <laughs> awesome! Sometimes we wander and then sometimes we wonder. It's so fun, so, guys. He's got a new idea to where, y'all know real ale? Yeah. yeah. Just, we pop a bottle cap and then whatever city is on the bottle cap, that's uh, where we go. Super yeah. So, I love that, I love that, one, that's great. There's an oatmeal, Texas. Yeah. Oatmeal? There's cut and shoot, Texas. What? I was like, Paris. Paris, Paris. Paris. yeah. I'm gonna eat oatmeal in oatmeal. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be a good one. Yeah. There's nothing here, but I don't know. I think that's, that's probably all we could do, yeah. <laughs> Just like sitting in the parts of the city eating oatmeal. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the outline. That's the yeah. video. I mean, that could be it. <laughs> yeah, you have to there we go. toggle. Toggle Blair. Oh, I see. You want that? It sits right on top. The water's actually being pumped through that rock shaped plant. Plant shaped rock. Okay, come on. What is your deal? Go the other way. No, it's the right way. What is the deal? 
<laughs> All right. I guess we could still not walk it through for a second. <laughs> yeah, but it's still all weird. Just. Did it turn off? Did it turn off?